Welcome back to Pentiment. We are investigating and we are finding stuff. It's pretty exciting, to be honest. Oh, dang. <laughs> the peasants have been in here. But there's nothing that we could find. Did the abbot burn something? Nope. Okay. Okay. So let's go into the kitchen. That's as always, right? There's nothing here. Yeah, that's the peas. Oh, cucumbers. Sorry, these were the peas. No bees. So let's get into the kitchen. We know that we can access the aqueduct from here. Refectorium. Cloister. So I think maybe if we find... Oh, hello. You're still here. Dang. <laughs> Never ate the sausage. That's sad. <laughs> maybe there are too many rats to hunt down. So the secret entrance to the aqueduct, I know that it led uh, to the, the convent of the nuns, but I thought we had an end. Oh, it was right, right. It was in the crypt. Okay, my, my mistake. So there's nothing here, really. Hmm. In that case, refectory. Cloister. Nothing in here. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's go into the chapter house. Everything seems normal here. Huh. Infirmary? You know all that. Nothing new. That's still... yeah. Still the same. Since seven years. L'Aquarium? There was never ever anything in here. <laughs> Anybody here? Maybe we can take a bath? No. In that case... Church... Dormitory... We have been... Hmm... In that case... I try to get... Into the library again. Ooh, now we can look at these things. Not even the crypt was spared from the looting. That's where we looked out of. I mean, we didn't look out. As, uh, as Andreas, we just saw it because... Well... We can get into the library. So we can have a word with Guy. Oh, that's cool. Let's do that. But that might pass time, right? Dang. Who oh, is there? Did he go blind? Is it you, Lord? Come to claim my soul? Not quite. It's Andreas, Brother Edok. Oh, Andreas. Dear boy. Uh-oh. Grayish pallor, shortness of breath, swollen fingers, sweating. You're not well, Brother Adok. It looks serious. It's nothing. The escape was a bit much for my age. Uh, I feel ages. A heavy heart. 
put it with us if God wills. Oh gosh, he's dying in here. He's having a heart attack. Could someone help you, Florian? Or... Do not concern yourself with me, Andreas. The others... Uh, make sure the others are well. <laughs> I will do what I can. Good, good. I must rest. Keep holding on, Brother Adoc. Uh, and he's dead. No, not yet. Hmm. Ferens. I don't want to talk to him. Who else is in here? I mean, everybody has to be in here. Guy. There he is. Lucas, Folkbird. Who is up there? <gasps> oh, man. Weslav. Hello, brother Weslav. Do you have a moment? Of course, Andreas. What do you need? I was hoping to ask you about brother Gay. Haha, uh -huh. what about him? Has he been doing anything odd lately? I'm sorry, Andreas. I don't know what you mean. I think you may have had a reason to kill Otto. Andreas, that's a grave accusation. Do you have any evidence to support this assertion? Sister Margarete heard him rustling about in the sister's herb hut, and we found a large sack of coins. <gasps> Sister Margarete is blind, Andreas. She likely ran into one of the sisters. What would Brother Guy even be doing in the sister's garden? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Sister Margarete knew it was him, though. She recognized his voice. He's hiding money in the sister's herb hut, but I don't know why. Hmm, several of the brothers were affronted when he demanded Father Garnot reveal the Abbey's financial record. So, wait. Guy demanded Father Garnot reveal the Abbey's financial records? And he demanded Father Garnot. But for Guy to be hiding money? Oh. Why, why is there nothing? We didn't even, even have a chance. Just tell me so I have something to tell Peter. So you can implicate one of the brothers in Otto's death? No, Andreas. Not for your convenience. Enough of this. God bless you, Andreas. Oh. Okay. Brother Rüdiger, what is that poem? Her half Himmelreiches Porten. Keep listening. Darin machers carry on, den urmulinerian. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison. Ah. <laughs> Rüdiger, what was that song? I think it's an old song from around Charles, Andreas. I like it. A song meant for times of need, and I believe we are in need at this time. I worry about Brother Rüdiger. He has been deep in prayer ever since we fled into the library. All this violence and strife does not conform with his gentle soul. You really care for him, don't you? I mean, we know that. This kind and thoughtful man. Who wouldn't? You'll find out who killed Otto, won't you? I have to. There's too much at stake. See, I told you. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison. 
Brother Rüdiger, why don't you sing for the others to hear? The others? Yes, all your brothers. You are the cantor. You resist the voice that leads them. Appointed official in the monastery, responsible for leading the chants and songs of the community. I, I don't know. You can do it. I believe in you, and Matthew believes in you. We all do. Alright, I suppose I can try. I think it would help him. Awesome. Aw, that was good. Can we now talk to you? No. <laughs> now he talks like that. God bless. Okay, we helped them. That's good. Uh, Florian, you might want to look after Edok. <laughs> Andreas Mahler. I am, as always, glad to see you. But truly, you have put yourself at risk by sneaking in here. You cannot keep yourself out of danger and trouble, can you? <laughs> it's trouble that finds me, not the opposite. So it may seem. But you ought to trust in Providence. It is your wits that we need once again, and so God has delivered you here. Still, I must ask, why have you come to the library? I want to see how you all are holding up. We are not out of danger, if that is what you have in mind. The peasants are on edge, and we are stuck. You fear they truly want more violence? They may not be trained soldiers, but it does not take much military acumen to burn down a building full of books. If they hurt the abbot or damage the abbey, the duke's armies will not show leniency. Believe me, a direct confrontation with real soldiers will end in a slaughter. You've said much about the peasants, but what of you and your brothers? Oh, I'm well, Andreas. I have had through worse. The Battle of the Cosmine, the Siege of Torneck Castle, death and suffering. Too much of that, perhaps, for a young mind. Ah, uh, long enough ago by now. Here, others who hold my attention. I worry about Volkbert and Rüdiger. They are gentle people, not able to withstand this terror and violence. But I'm especially worried about Adak. I tried talking to him, he didn't look good. He is old and frail, and his health has grown worse since we fled here. He remarks of pains of the chest. I'm cut off from my tools, and were it not so, I'm unsure of what might help against his affliction. Perhaps Salvia Salvatrix, or Papa Ver Somniferum? I've learned about a couple of plants that are said to help an ailing heart. 
Yellow Urchentian, Fraxinella, Crunch Novel, even Black Nightshade. Excellent, Andreas. Sister Gertrude may be of assistance to you in this. She knows the plants best. If you happen to find any of these, talk to her. She can prepare what is necessary. Be safe, Andreas. You as well, Brother Florian. Ah, so we can help him. Cool. We talked to Guy last. Maybe we find out stuff. God, keep you safe, Master Mahler. Oh gosh. No, 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 no. Folkbird, it's going to be all right. How can you know that, Lucas? Trust in Providence, brother. The Lord guides us through Gethsemane. They are going to hurt us. They won't. Look, Andreas is here. He will help. Lucas, Folkbird. Yes, I will help any way I can. It's all looking better already, Folkbird. God has sent us a mediator. <laughs> I don't want to die. You're not going to. We all will. No, 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 please. Folk bird, peace and calm. Think of the heavenly realms above us, where angels sing praise to our Lord every day. I thought he didn't want to die. <laughs> will I join them if I die? We all join their choir. Um, one day. But you won't die here, Folkbird. Listen to Andreas. He will help us. Stay safe, brothers. I'll go try to solve this mess before anyone else gets hurt. God bless you. God save us. Well, I will, if I can. <laughs> I'll try. Let's talk to Ferens. Is there something I can help you with, Master Mahler? Yes, I found this book and thought you might be able to help me identify it. Why, what? I must admit I have seen this book before, but I thought I had sent it away some years ago. It contains questionable rituals. It contains questionable rituals. Yes, this bookmark section is about can, can summoning a demon to kill a man. How one can summoning a demon to kill a man. Where did you find it? Not in the library, I should hope. Hmm. Brother Guy was attempting to covertly perform this ritual in the abattoir. The slaughterhouse. Oh no! Why would he do such a thing? I think the name Otto may suggest the motive. God protect us. You don't think he was involved in Otto's death, do you? That remains to be seen. Well, one must not leap to conclusions. Andreas, I know you don't need me to tell you, but you must read carefully. The Archdeacon trusted your word when Baron Rotvogel was murdered. Lucky Steinor's death lingers in the minds of many of the townsfolk. If the peasants trust your word, your word will be a death sentence. I don't take this resp I don't take this responsibility lightly, Brother Ferens. Good. God bless you. Huh. I mean we knew that already. God bless you, Andreas. Has anything new come to light in the investigation of Otto's death? Huh. I mean... If you want to know, we have to speak up. I'll try. I must speak with you urgently about Brother Guy. Now is really not the time to discuss the enmity between you, Andreas. I know you do not care for each other, but it's hardly appropriate. Guy's been stealing from the Abbey. Pardon me? I must not have heard you right. He's been obscuring it in the ledger, but the evidence is there. 
In March alone, he stole almost seven florins worth of funds and sent it to the Fuckers in Augsburg. My God! That, that can't... How did you learn this? I found a receipt in the back of the Abbey's ledger written in lemon juice. If Otto somehow knew about this, you can't think Brother Guy would have killed him. He might. He's never much like the peasants, but murder? I don't think violence of that kind is in his nature. I know his heart, yet yeah, it's pretty mean. <laughs> you couldn't have made a mistake, are you certain? You can check the receipt yourself. All you need is a candle. I suppose I must. But we don't give it away, do we? These times are so dark, Andreas. Even with the Lord's light to guide us, I do not know how we will go on when this is through. Oh, there's little I can do about this now, but should we survive the coming days? The consequences for Brother Guy will be dire. Thank you for hearing me out. Whatever you think of me and my intentions, I do care about Kirsa. We have not always seen eye to eye, but I have never doubted you care for this place. In that, at least, we are aligned. One final thing. Have you spoken with him about this? No, not yet. So he doesn't know he's been found out very well. Go with God, now more than ever. You as well, Father Garnot. I do want to talk to him, though. And I will. <laughs> you asshole! You don't care not. Wait, what? He already knows? I'm sorry, he had to know. You are a true bastard, Master Mahler, and you deserve the very worst of what's coming to you. I like to think we've been on reasonable good terms until now. Do not speak to me again. Wait, what? That's weird. How does he know already? Hmm. I would have liked to hear his defense. Maybe there would have been an explanation. Dang. Well, there's nothing else we can do, is there? But that was interesting, nonetheless. So we know now that we can just come in here if we find something else that we want to talk about. Although I do doubt that they will talk to us again. Hmm. What do we do now? We have been everywhere. At least here. So all we can do... Alright. Is... Going back? Nothing suspicious here. I still don't know what's the connection to Father Thomas and uh, uh, Emily. But there must be one. So maybe this money issue is completely unrelated. It's just something that we found out about. Right, we should talk to sister... We cannot talk to the sisters, right? She's still here. Huh. 
don't know why she's sitting there. Maybe we can tell Sister Cecilia about the meds that we need. No, okay. I tried. And we have to collect them first, right? What did we need? No, not that. Uh, nightshade. Don't know which one. Moonward. Okay. Hmm. Let's go into the woods again. Guest house is closed, right? Yeah. Okay. I want to see if we can still access the Roman ruins at the tree. Can we collect flowers here? No. Hi, Schlau. First, go where we don't expect anything. Oh, oh, can I collect that now? What about these, Master Andreas? No, these flowers are red. They don't match what you found. Oh, we can still <laughs> look at flowers. That's funny. We already found them. Oh, there's one. <laughs> More flowers. Still not quite the match we're looking for. Surely we'll find the righteous one. But yeah, we already know. This is still too innocent. Somebody died and they do not get buried on the graveyard. And I think they were victims of Rotvogel back then, right? But we never found out more about that. Let's see if the curlers are there. What's about these flowers? Do we still... Yeah. <laughs> no, that's still the same. Smokey is here. Maybe he has seen something. That's funny. Yeah, we can talk to him. Oh, hello, Master Mahler. You're looking well. Thank you, Smokey. How are you? I'm well enough, I guess. Wojtyslav went his way... went his way a few years ago, which I suppose was bound to happen. Oh, yeah, the guy. I miss the company sometimes, but now there's no one to keep me from my gossip. No one to tell it to either. Tell me. What have you heard? It may be helpful in my investigation. I don't know about that, Master Mahler. I don't trade in the serious stuff. Not anything pertains to Master Zimmerman, anyway. Oh? I did see another Imperial Race Post courier right from the Abbey a few days ago. Hmm, a private mail service run by the Churn and Taxes family and approved by the Holy Roman Empire. Interesting. Rather guy dropped the bag once. It looked heavy. The Abbey must be doing better than the Abbey is letting on. Does that happen often? Once or twice a month? Odd, with what the Abbot has been saying about the Abbey struggling. Doesn't help that the Abbot has tightened restrictions so close to St. John's Eve, too. The townsfolk got up to all sorts of mischief then. What sort of mischief? I'd wager John and Cat will find some corner to play in again. It's practically tradition at this point. Oh, we saw them. So now we know who that was. <laughs> Veronica and Brigitta might go out for a midnight dip by the waterfall too. 
they've been swimming out there for years. Now everyone's getting clever, trying to stay out from the abbot's eye. Rightly so, he's an ass. <laughs> I didn't see you in the town commons. I didn't see you in the town commons during Otto's speech. Aren't you standing with the peasants? Well, their cause doesn't really affect me, does it? I'm as worried as anyone about soldiers rushing through here, but the new taxes and restrictions don't bother me. I understand why they are upset, but I've been doing fine out here with less than they have. Nothing will change for me if they get their way. I see. Ah, well, enough for that. Thanks for stopping by, Master Mahler. Until later, Smokey. Until then. So there's an official carrier going through. Ganot must have noticed that. That's weird. Turn in Texas. <sighs> no, we cannot. Dang it. Okay. We know that much now. Let's go once through town and then I think we have to go to bed. But uh, maybe we see some suspicious activities. Maybe from here. Hello. Let's get in there. Dang it. I cannot call out to her. Nothing. Hmm. They are somehow involved though with the notes. Hmm. Nothing going on here at night? Nope. What do we do? We need to find more evidence. It might be that we can now 10 hours remaining and it's night time. It might be that we can now um, pay beer and talk to the guests. I hope they're still awake. If we go back, because here's nothing. Are they around at night? No. We have never been in his house. Nothing suspicious here. And nothing suspicious here. No one's roaming about. Okay. Well, oh, get up there. I think we walked through town entirely. So let's get to the golden hand. Do we need that? Is that nightshade? No. Time. That. Hmm. Well. Dang it. They're gone. We can't do anything. <laughs> Elves are back. That's horrible. Can I help you with something? Should be. 
Should we destroy this family? I mean... Dang it. Hello, Master Mahler. Anything I can do for you? Can we confront her? You must want a break from all the work sometimes. A way to let off steam. I don't understand, Andreas. <laughs> oh gosh. I know what you do by the Roman ruins. Oh god. How did you know? Did Leonard tell you? It's not hard to figure out. Does, does Nico know? He will, if you don't answer my questions. Ah, I threatened her. You're a bastard, Mahler. You'd hold the ruin of my family over me. And for what? Uh, the ruin. No. You did that yourself when you chose to cheat, Hannah. Someone has bound to find out. Damn it, Andreas. What do you want from me? Why did you do it? Leonard is handsome, strong, forthright. He knows what he wants, a proper man. Not like Nico. Nico is so boring and weak. He avoids taking a stance, avoids making the tough choices. I see. So when it comes to tough choices... <laughs> if you're so willing to cheat on your husband, you'd... I'd bet you'd do whatever it takes to keep the inn running. I didn't tell her he knows. By God, Andreas, are you accusing me of killing Otto? I disagree with Otto, but why would I want to kill him? Look around. Is Tassing better with him dead? First you hold the ruin of my family over my head, and now this? Unless there's anything more you need, I won't abide by this fooling foolishness. Good day, Andreas. <sighs> Dang it. What else would, could she have told me? Can you just repeat that? No. <laughs> I mean, she wouldn't have confessed, right? If I had gotten the check mark. Hmm. Well, I don't know. And I don't know what else to do that night. So I think we have to go to bed. We had so many things that I want to do. New people. Fabian Rauch. Ah, right. We know her already. Hmm. Oh, there's... Ah, Sister Sophie. Quite beautiful Kitchener. Okay. Hmm. I mean, summoning demons doesn't do anything, so that would not be enough to accuse Guy of murder. He did want him dead, though. Hmm. All right. I don't know if you can still do that on the next day. There are still people here. <laughs> okay, no, not anymore. Well, I don't know. I really don't. What we could do now. Are there any tasks available? Sleep in. Yeah. There's nothing we can do. 
I think in the morning we can listen in into the confessions, but other than that, I don't know. Well, let's go to bed. It's getting late. I should get some rest. And that's the end of the episode. Thank you so, so much for watching it. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and uh, good night.